All right, here. So what I was thinking about is this. So I was thinking about home inspectors, and I have like a really low opinion of home inspectors. I don't know why. I mean, I'm not. I don't mean anything negative by it, but I guess it does come off negative because it's a negative thing. But I think of them as people who don't know what they're doing, and they're just kind of looking for. I've seen them find a bunch of stuff that was stupid, basically over my years in the business. I've seen them find things like, oh, there's a big deal here today. This condensate line out here should be run out slightly farther from the house. Well, thank you for that earth-shattering development. I really appreciate that. Or, hey, man, that insulation is slightly ripped. Let's tear this house down and start over. That's sort of my opinion of them. So I was thinking to myself, okay, these guys, they come in here to check out like an AC, but they can't touch anything. I mean, that's what the guy said. We're not allowed to touch anything. We can't open up panels. So what do we really expect these guys to do? Because they can't really do a whole lot. So I was thinking to myself, you know what they could do is some of this like non-invasive stuff. Because non-invasive, the stuff Measure Quick does, you know, the stuff, because I invented it. You know, I invented it back in the day, guys. Of course, I'm just kidding. That's, that's, yeah. No, no. You could easily come in there and measure with some training i should put that in there with some training measure like the line temperatures measure the air temperature across the coil the air temperature humidity of course humidity and temperature across the coil and you could make some pretty good assumptions about the air conditioner and stand behind it because these guys come in here and they look at the air conditioner and they see a how old it is which, you know, old things can run great and new things can run bad. So that's not really solid. I mean, it's, you know, sure, if it's older, it's more likely to break down. But, I mean, still, there's a lot of old machines that run beautifully. People take care of them for a long time. They shouldn't be punished for their age. So there's a lot of old machines running really well. And then they check the delta, the sensible delta T across the coil. They put one, and I say across the coil, but it's really from the return grill to the supply grill so they're checking the duct system too which on a hot day throws things off as well and i hear them talk and they say all right we need something between 12 degrees and 18 degrees okay there's no reasoning on why that is it's just a standard that's been given to them and yet yeah, it doesn't make sense that 18 degrees is around comfort conditions and 12 degrees would be a lot of humidity in the air most of the time, 12 is way too low. So if they come in there and it's like 12 or 13, the guy's like, all right, we're good. I mean, most of the time, that's not good. Unless you have a lot of humidity in the house. Like the AC hasn't been running in a while. But if you were to make a few measurements, like if you measured the return air going in and you said, all right, we're 75 degrees, the humidity is 30%. And now we have 13 degrees across the coil. I would be like, hey, we got a, we got a problem here. Either the blower set up way wrong I mean, super, super duper way wrong, like way high, or there's an issue with the system. So I think they could do a whole lot better. I, I know no one's going to do this, but I was just thinking to myself, if uh, one of you guys out there become a home inspector, you could use this and be the finest home inspector that's ever lived. I'm pretty sure you could use this information because you can't measure anything electrically. I don't think. Unless things have changed, these guys always used to tell me they can't open up panels and stuff. It would be nice. If they can open up panels and work on electrical stuff, there's nothing they can't do. Their powers are unlimited to solve all air conditioning problems. But at the very least, they could check that out. Because measuring the air temperature, no one's going to say you can't do that. And you can find most issues related with that part of the system if you're pretty diligent about measuring air temperatures and line temperatures. If you have a line going back to the compressor that's 80 degrees, that's not normal. That's way too high. You're going to have a compressor in danger. Or if the line coming back to the compressor is 38 degrees, you know there could be an issue with airflow. The blower might not be working. Coil could be slowly freezing up because of another issue. Pretty easy to find that out. It's a little bit of training. Uh, let's see. Brian Chadwick says, a house on a rock is good in Richmond. Hey, man. I like it. Comfort Solutions says, what's up, fellow deplorables? Hey, what's up, man? I'm a deplorable. So are you. Brandon Brenny says, for the same price, you could have a carpenter, a plumber, an electrician, and an HVAC guy come and look and actually find stuff. Hey, that might be true. I don't know how much they charge for home inspections, but it's probably a few hundred bucks. You're right. So you probably could get at least a couple of those guys out there just to do like a once-over and find more stuff with just a couple guys. 
if you have an HVAC guy, I mean, it's almost like having a built-in electrician. So you just get the HVAC guy and the plumber. And actually, we're almost like plumbers, too, because we actually do all that stuff. So really, if you have an HVAC guy, just look at the whole house, you'd probably be fine. Because our trade does do all the stuff. You know, we have knowledge that's wide-ranging. So, I mean, we could actually do all the stuff. I'm just saying. Okay. Let's have some fun for a minute. All right. Here's what I'm going to do, guys. Now, home inspection is $500. Holy crap. Yeah, yeah. You could. That's way too much. Jeez. Jeez Louise. I haven't seen a price that elevated since I went to the pig today. The Piggly Wiggly, that is. And uh, we were shopping. And I saw that the lima beans have gone up to almost $2 a can. That's deplorable. That's deplorable. Deplorables wouldn't have had that. Doug, Doug, where are you? Deplorables, if we had our way, that would not be happening, Doug. If you want to watch more videos just like this one, click on this playlist right here. If you want to see our brand new video, click right here. If you want to find out more about the great sponsors that make this show happen, click up here. And to join our email list where I notify you when we're going live, click right here.